it's been our privilege to give out the Beverly Hay <laughs> Snowboard Cup all these years, and, and um, we want to we want to just shine some light on what this cup means to us and means to uh, um, you know not just SVSEF but Sun Valley snowboarding as a whole. I mean, Absolutely. we've got some of the the biggest names in snowboarding on this cup, and some of some of our favorite people, like you said, Absolutely. and. Um, you know, we've got Graham Watanabe and Claire Cetera were the first recipients of this cup. Graham went on to uh, two Olympic games. Claire ended up on the U.S. snowboard team. We've also got um, Sean Fitzsimons. If you come to nowadays, you got Sean Fitzsimons, who just made this year's Olympic slope style team in, in, in snowboarding. And then also, of course, Olympic gold medalist Caitlin Farrington on this cup. And there's also, if you look down the list of names that are on here, you've got people that have come back to the local snowboard community and given back as coaches and volunteers and people that work for Sun Valley and help us with these events that we throw every year with Absolutely. your name attached to them. And, you know, this cup, you know, it means a lot to the local snowboarding history here in Sun Valley. Well, what you just mentioned too, Andy, is one of the best things about the Sun Valley snowboarding program is that the guys come back, the ladies come back and coach and help. And that's really the sense of community that we have here. And um, old riders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think also, you know, one of the things is, you know, there's not just local riders on this cup. We've got, um, you know, riders from Jackson Hole, riders from Park City, um, riders from, we've got Australians on here. We've got kids that have traveled from Oregon to be here. Um, the cup has got has got some history and it's got some depth and and um, you know one of the great things that we do is introduce these kids to all these other kids from from the larger snowboard world and and if you look at this cup it's kind of a microcosm of of that part of what we do. Well, we've just uh, been told that the winners this year. A uh, young lady named Gwynny Park from Park City Team Utah. Uh, congratulations, Gwynny. She had to leave early to go home. And um, an international, now about to be snowboarding celeb, a young man named Jake Anderson from Melbourne, Australia. And we're just thrilled to have uh, people from out of the country on the cup. Congratulations, Jake and Gwynny. Next season actually marks 30 years of SBSEF snowboarding, wow. which you were actually instrumental in. If you go back and look at the minutes from the board meetings in 1992, your name is all over those. And that was the year that they voted on, on including snowboarding in the sports that are offered at SBSEF. So as always, we always have to thank you for your, your support that has been there since day one. Um, and next year, going into that celebration of 30 years of SVSEF snowboarding, we're, we're having a new cup made, we're casting a new cup. Um, the folks at Rocky Mountain Hardware are helping us with that, and uh, we should have a brand new shiny cup with a bunch of room for new names on it next year. And it's going to be huge, right? <laughs> Giant. <laughs> you know, in talking about the cup, you know, obviously you have to talk about, you know, the history of Sun Valley snowboarding, and, and I think it's really important that Beverly be recognized for her contributions to the snowboard community here in Sun Valley and what she's done for all these young riders. I don't think that there's a, a, a known name or an unknown name in snowboarding in Sun Valley that Bev hasn't touched in one way or another, whether they know it or not. Her contributions and support and help with what we do with athletes at SPSEF snowboarding um, wouldn't happen without her. And um, it's, it's always our honor and privilege to give this cup out with your name on it. Andy, thank you. That is so sweet. And you don't sometimes know what kind of effect you've had. I've just had nothing but fun with the snowboarding community. And that's really what it's all about. And um, thank you. Thank Absolutely. you for that. Absolutely. <laughs> I just, um, I'm thrilled that I got introduced to snowboarding. I was a lifelong skier. And I started snowboarding in 93, the spring of 93, um, and I just love it. And I have to say, I love skiing, I still do, but there is some, something about snowboarding that gives you a personal sense of freedom. And in this chaotic world we live in today, that is invaluable. And um, I just love it. Ride on! <laughs>